got the uh, Canon G7X Mark II, which I picked up a couple of weeks ago, and I haven't really had a chance to use it. So today, uh, I'm going to use it as a vlogging camera. Okay, so we've switched over to the G7X Mark II. That's what we're recording on right now. Steveston and uh, we're just walking down uh, the waterfront here down to Hog Shack. Now I come to Steveston a lot when I test out cameras and there's a bunch of reasons for that. One is because I like it here. Um, it's usually windy here. It's usually not raining here when it's raining in other parts of uh, Vancouver so that always helps. Um, there's usually a little bit of wind so it's a good place to test out audio and uh, I get to go eat Hog Shack uh, barbecue which I mean, that's the, the big reason, so. Yeah, we're almost there. Hog Shack is just, uh, just down that away. There's my kid, running, running crazy, as always. They can't see. They can't see. They can now. Yeah, they can. Well, there you go. How's that? Is that better? Yeah. Aww. Shack. It was uh, delicious as always. Now we're searching for pigeons and down on the waterfront up here. There. Up where? Up there! Pigeon up there. Yeah. So I'm gonna go home and have a look at the footage and uh, just kind of give my initial impressions of this camera. User-wise, like like the menus and everything and actually operating the camera, it's, it's phenomenal. I'm, I'm a big fan. So just to sum up, uh, my quick little real-world vlogging test of the Canon G7X Mark II, it's a great camera. Um, for video, there's really not anything I can fault it with. It doesn't have 4K like some of its competition, like the RX100, uh, 4 and 5, or the Panasonic LX10. The autofocus on the RX100 is better than it used to be, but it's still not as good as this camera. And the autofocus on the Panasonic is still nowhere near either of them for video. So I'd rather have an in-focus 1080 shot than an out-of-focus 4K shot. That's just me. If you really need 4K, there are other options to this. This works great. The autofocus is outstanding. User-wise, uh, the menu system is, it's okay to navigate. It's not the best menu system I've ever used, but it's also not the worst, Sony. Colors are great. Uh, low light is really good. Even as a stills camera, this camera is quite good. If you're looking for a travel camera that can sort of do double duty as your photography and a video camera, or to vlog, or to whatever, this is a great all-around camera. It's uh, reasonably affordable. I mean, it's a very small camera and it's still, you know, $800 Canadian, which might not seem affordable, but the results you get out of it sort of justify that price. Even the audio quality from the internal mics, it's really good. Um, you might want to put some little wind muffs over them to keep the wind noise down, but yeah, it's, uh, yeah, it's, a, it's a great camera, so. 
two thumbs up from WFLBC. I'm gonna be using this camera a lot. I've got it in a little leather half case now that actually has like a full uh, thing that goes over the top because I did drop it once already, but it seems okay. When I vlog with it also, I use this little cheap uh, bendy tripod thing that I got from eBay or Amazon or something. It was like eight bucks. Works really good. Thanks for watching guys and we'll see you soon.